me start Me look good, you sound good from far Anytime me listen to your bars, it's a part Talk about you, boss, for me sell out But them let you in Canada Big time lies on the big time crowds Spinning bird kick to your lip, to your jaw Don't try me, my you, Tom about to me look a long kill time Just because, sit down by the rhythm and me sit down in the walk You a victim when me driving on me car Don't sky eyes and your hoodie to the stars You put in my full up of water Run off your mouth, kill off the data Serious thing, not time for laughter You a black sheep, I call your barber 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 Welcome to Come Box with Shan. Uh, I, I, I wanted to say it in French because I have a French speaking superstar on here. Uh, I don't know if I can, uh, I, let me, let me see. Bienvenue to Come Box with Shan. Pero todo, la gente hablo español. Pero Lucho Toro, Carlos Takam, eh, de Francés, si tú sabes. So, without further ado, we are going to bring in <laughs> Carlos Takam. Hey, got... hey, hey, everybody, I'm here. Carlos Takam hey, is here. You're here. Sorry, I had technical difficulties, Carlos. Thank you. Thank you to having me here, Lady Chan. My pleasure. I was so happy when you said you'd come on my show. I was like, yes. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on my show. How do you say bienvenue? Bienvenue et merci de ma voix dans votre show, Lady Ooh. Chan. Thank you. I love the accent. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. right. So, where shall we go now? Where is Shan and Carlos going? So, can you just um, tell people, you know, the accolade? Because, the, because what I was looking at is that basically your champ, you had your championship belt in like the African League of Boxing, right? Yes. Yeah. So, tell. Could you just describe? What is the difference, obviously, because it's African nations, why you went that route and was you willing to take the more, you know, commercial route of like, you know, the WBO, the WBC route, well, that world title route instead of the African world title route? Yes, you know, I have, I have, like I want to say, I have five bears, five. Yeah. I, I know many people don't many people don't know I have five bears. I have yeah. w, WBO mm -hmm. Africa, my first mm -hmm. bear. Mm -hmm. I have uh a WBC Silver. Mm -hmm. I have IBF Intercontinental. Yeah, Intercontinental. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I have two another one e, uh, WBF World Champion. So, yeah. yeah. Five. Sank. Yes. Yeah. So, I, so my career, I start boxing in Africa. It's too late. I start boxing in 2002. I was I was uh, 20, 21 here mm -hmm. when I start boxing. It was too late. Many people told me that's too late to boxing. So mm -hmm. I start boxing 2002 and mm -hmm. 2004. I was in Olympic game in Athena. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 So after Athena. Uh, I, I take the, the I take a decision to be to 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 pass pro to be a professional boxing, and then uh, uh, I fly to Belgium uh, to to Belgium to stay and start my professional career. To Belgium was no, it was it was so difficult because it, 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 in Belgium the, the boxing is not really a big sport. Yes, yeah, yeah. big sport like UK like like US. Mm -hmm. So to Belgium, I fly to Paris with because I, I, I fly to Paris to, to find the man the promoter. And my first promoter was one of the big promoters in France in Europe at that time. His name is Michel Acarias. Okay. So mm -hmm. he take me, he, he assigned with him for five years, something like that. So after three years, we we broke the contract. Uh, after three years, I broke a contract with him, and then I stay my own with my coach like five or six years. We know 
we're not Pomora. So we were, uh, we, we were fly everywhere around the world to fight, to fight. Because nobody, people was like, no, Carlo, you cannot fight, go fight to Russia. You cannot go fight to New Zealand because they're going to rob you. you don't, you're going to lose your fight. I say, I don't, I don't care. I'm going to go fight because I know I'm going to win. And mm -hmm. every time when I fly to go outside to, 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 to fight, I win my fight. People were surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Every time the surprise say how I say yes I know I win I say boxing is a sport it's different it's not like football or it's not like rugby because yeah. you're in the ring with with, with 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 only one with only only one one, one opponent you yeah. fight you beat him people gonna see you you beat him if you put it cow people gonna see you put the guy cow it's not like they're gonna rob you to no 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 it's, it's clear in the last sport yeah. if but if you beat somebody or up or the up people gonna see that you already you beat him. It's not like football, no. Yeah. So I, I fly around the wall, I fight, I fight, I win, I fight, I win, and then uh when I when, when I was in, in Moscow to fight Povovkin, it was a very tough fight. I lost that fight and that, that yeah. I lost that fight, but mm. one tomorrow see me and he told me, Yes, Carlos. Who are you Pomora? I say I don't have Pomora. He said, Are you are you serious? I say, Yes, I don't have a Pomora. He said, Listen, take my phone number. I need to we need to talk. We need to speak together to see how we can work. To me, I say, I say, yes, why not? Now, when I go back to France, the guy come see me in Paris and say we speak together and then I sign with him. So yeah. now uh that time I have a Pomora, somebody to protect me. Yeah. Because I never have somebody to protect me in the boxing. Yeah. See, see, I started boxing, you know. I never had somebody to protect me like other boxer. Yeah. No, I don't have. I never had. You yeah. on your own. Yeah, yeah. 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 I only on my own. So he start. I start with him. You no, know, he start with. He find. He find a fight for me in UK, in uh, Italy, in you know, in Canada. Mm -hmm. so with him, I make my first fight in Canada. With, with, we with. with with Perez, yeah, that time Perez, yeah, with Perez, mm -hmm. that time nobody want to fight Perez because because he put some he fight with some he fight with some guy from Russia and yeah. then I, he put that guy down, yeah, like, he cannot walk anymore, yeah, but he was scared like oh my God Perez man be careful I say no Perez I don't scare yeah I don't scare, yeah. I, don't scare that guy. I can fight him yeah, so I fight to Montreal. I fly to Montreal, I go fight Perez. I win that fight, but they give a draw. They say it's a draw. I was laughing because the 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 because um, the what, guy, what? Yeah, I was laughing because the guy who worked with we show we show time the TV. Oh yeah. The contractor, he told me, Carlos, you win your fight, you know that you win that fight. They I rock said, you. I that fight. Why they don't why they don't give me like winning? He said, Yes, you know, boxing is a business. Yeah. Going, you, know, said, okay. you got robbed. You got robbed. <laughs> yes, I get robbed. I get yeah. robbed. I say yes, okay. I win the fight. They give a draw. That's not a problem. So, mm -hmm. uh, so that time I start. I really start to have somebody to protect me. I really yeah. start. Like the, the people start to know me. You know, people start to know me. I have a promoter. I have a promotion. Like that yeah. time, people start to know who is Carlos Takam. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that brings you up. So I just want to let people know your record. So you're um, 40 wins, 29 coming by way of knockout. That's a good one. And it's you five losses or six? Because if the six one considered in your amateur uh, record, because when I was looking at, because there's, there's Povetkin, so your debut was with Muhammad Ali. Yes. Yeah. And then, so you fought Chisora, Parker. Uh, uh, these are the losses that I know. Chisora, Parker, Joshua, Povetkin. And who's number five? I don't know who number five is. The number five was in my beginning. When I began, I started. In amateur. Yeah. yeah. I thought as much. That's what I saw it in the AMS. Yeah. 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 I saw that. So what I wanted to ask you is like, because I, you know, I recap all of the fights. 
and I watch all of the fights and um, I want to, I'm going to go a bit forward. Your, your last fight that you had with um, Forrest. With who? Forrest. Is it Forrest? Forrest? Forrest. I don't know how to pronounce his name. No, I win. I win my fight with yeah, Forrest. Yeah, you win. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to start. Yes, there, yes, yes. My I last know. fight with Forrest. Yeah. Yes. So what I noticed in that fight was, and what they were quite shocked was, of how athletic and how you can be on the balls of your feet and you've got good stamina and cardio. Because that guy... Uh, was that was that was he in as a replacement for someone else? Yeah, you know that fight uh, because I was supposed to fight. Uh, uh, I was supposed to fight um, that guy from from Canada, that Colombia fight. The Colombia guy, how do you call him again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy he fight with Dylan White, the Colombia, you know, from yeah. Colombia. <laughs> I was supposed to fight him, like, uh, like. To two, uh, I was supposed to fight him, so he he the, my promoter called me. He told me yes, uh, that guy cannot fight you anymore because he have an injury. He cannot. He, he have an yeah. injury. He cannot fight you anymore. We find we find some appointment for you for that day. Mm -hmm. And every day I call my my promoter to ask him. So you you have you have somebody? He said no no no. I, we don't have somebody yet. And one day he called me. She said, listen, Carlos. Um, I just speak with, with Top Brown now, and then we were speaking with, with Top Brown, and then they told me, uh, uh, um, they want you to fight with Jerry Forrest. I say, yeah. uh, Jerry yeah. Forrest, I say, yes, I say, yeah. it's not that, that guy was supposed to fight with, with Baby Miller. She say, yeah, yeah, it's him. Yeah. I say, what happened? They say, yeah. they, they told me, yes, Baby Miller was test positive. I say, oh, sure, okay. So I said, okay, let me check that guy to see. I check him. I, I watch one of his fights, two of his fans. I said, yes. Two losses. He came off of two losses before. Yes. I yes. I said, I said, yes. Why not? He's a good fighter. He's mm -hmm. not already dangerous, but I can. I can mm -hmm. do that. I can make that fight. It was like, like, like every time, short notice, you know. Yeah. It was a short fight for me. Yeah. But <laughs> you did it like that. Yeah. yeah. It was but like, what, for me. what I noticed was that, um, like how athletic that you really was, because in comparison to sometimes the other fights, I, th I think, I think what started to bother you in that fight is your eye. So did you uh, um, receive an eye injury in the no. fight? No, I, I'm not receiving the eye injury for that fight. That fight, no, I'm not receiving the eye injury. That no, fight was, no. No. You sure, Carlos? Yes, I'm sure. I have some little, little, little thing here, but it was not bad, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was because, a big thing. Yeah, because the comment. <laughs> this is why sometimes I don't listen to the commentators because the commentators is like he looks really pretty bothered because you because you had your well, right hand covering. Yes, but it, it was it was it was a head. You know, he's a sapo. Yeah, you, you, yeah, he's a sapo. Yeah, so yeah he, he, was a he hit me with the head. Yeah, it was yeah. Fun. <laughs> but, but then you, I tell you what you did. Uh, you did the you did the elbow lock. Yes. <laughs> yes, oh, that, oh, that. Yeah, too. you did that. Yes, uh, that. And he's not. This is the thing. You're you like you was very experienced. I think at the by that time you had like over two hundred and fifty mm -hmm. rounds in the ring, and he was only like really minimal like he'd only did i think maybe 50 or 60 rounds so you know yeah, those little no, tricks i, he didn't I know really but <laughs> but where, where, when when you go in the ring you have your apartment you you never you never say yet you, you don't have a, you you have more 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 uh, more fight like him because yeah. you never know we never know if it you know in the heavyweight division is you, you don't have a you do you don't have a small fight no no Never. one pun you don't have a small fight yes you see yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. you have too many examples you know you have too yeah. many examples you see a uh, joshua with with angie Reed. you see many yeah. many fight like that there was yeah. i think that, that everybody was like i oh, know are you gonna fight are you gonna kill that guy one two ring gonna pass but you see what happened i thought you was gonna like because i expected the knockout 
I expect yes, him to everybody was expecting knockout. Yes. Yeah. Why didn't you knock him out? Because <laughs> listen, yeah, like listen, he uh, he looked like you know what he reminded me of. He reminded me of a he uh, a heavyweight version of Yildirim. How Yildirim just fought Canelo. He hardly yeah. threw any punches. He threw. He got a couple in. He did. His eyes was like that. Like he was. Like his eyes was like this the whole time, and he yeah. wasn't throwing any punches. And I just thought, what's wrong with him? But um, I think that what it was that uh, what I was watching is that they didn't expect your game plan. They expected that you was going to be like flat footed, uh, uh, not being able to move around the ring. And so that's what they 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 was gunning for that you was going to be not as fit. And he's going to be the one to dance around you and like, you know, yeah. score, score points and jab and whatever. Um, I see him catch you with a couple, what was it, looping, uh, looping left. Yeah, <laughs> I saw him say, yeah, I saw him that. But then the move that your, uh, for me, your signature move is the, is the left hook. You've got a great left hook. Thank so, you. Yeah. You're welcome. You you do it. I don't do it. I don't. I don't want to receive one of those. I that <laughs> is, yeah. That is wild. But yeah. So that's so. I was watching that fight, and it went to ten rounds. I still enjoyed watching. I still enjoyed. I still enjoyed watching it because I thought you you boxed very well, and I think you showed uh, people because I know that you want like to, you want people to know you in the American market, and I think. Yeah. I think that was still a, a, a very good account of yourself, uh, to be honest, you know? So, yeah, well done. Yay. Thank well you, done. Richard. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I, I told people every time, yes, that fight with IG was really short notice with me. Yeah. Because at home, that fight, I, I have, I prepared that fight for like eight, eight days to go to, do, to yeah. fight your, to fight Joshua, I have eight days to prepare my fight. I have only two sparring. Yeah. yeah two sparring. And I was I was also ready. I was also ready for to fail. When they told me about that fight, yeah. I call I call my trainer. I say, I don't know if I'm gonna do that fight because it's too short. Yeah. He told me like it's dependent to you. If you want you can do if you want you do if not if not one yeah, you pull out. I said, I said, okay, just leaving. I don't want to do that fight because it's too short. So he said, okay, good. So I call, I call Mokomura. I say, forget about it. I don't want to do that fight. It's too short. So I was in it in the in the in the in, the, in, the, in Instagram. I was I watching. People were stuck. People were stuck. I see many comments. People like people were stuck. Like ah, that guy Carlos Takan. We don't know him. I think Joshua gonna gonna put it out like about two or three rounds. He's not going to make five rounds. So I see the comment. It pissed me off. I call my Pumora. I say, let's do that fight. <laughs> I say, let's do that fight. Yeah. yeah. I say, I have a respect for Aji, but no, don't tell me. Please don't tell me that guy going to kick my ass in two rounds. What the fuck is that? Yeah. No way. No way. I say, let's do that fight. He said, you sure, Carlos? I say, let's do that fight. So he arranged the fight. I said, let's go. I call my my friend. I said, let's go. Let's go in the wall. Let's go wall. <laughs> he was he laughing. Said, okay. Yes. Yes. I see. I see. No. I see. Seriously. I say every time. If I have a time, like one, two months or three months to prepare one fight. Yeah. Seriously. Really. That is really true. Nobody. I say nobody in that division. Can beat me if I have three months to prepare the fight. No boring. I'm going to fly in the ring. I'm going to fly. Yeah, you're, you're good on your feet. feet. You are. I'm, I'm going to fly. Yeah. yeah, you're good on your feet. For someone that's like, yeah. for someone that's like 250 pounds, you're quite light on your feet. Yeah. Yeah. That is good.